welcome back to Kabiga's Reviews. Today we're looking at Masters of the Universe Revelation, Season 1, Part 1, developed by Kevin Smith and starring Chris Wood, Mark Hamill, Liam Cunningham, Sarah Michelle Geller, Lena Headey, and Alicia Silverstone, among others. After a cataclysmic battle between He-Man and Skeletor, Eternia is fractured and the Guardians of Greyskull are scattered. And after decades of secrets tore them apart, it's up to Teela to reunite the broken band of heroes and solve the mystery of the missing Sword of Power in a race against time to restore Eternia and prevent the end of the universe. I just want to say, right from the word go, that I am not a fan of simply gender swapping roles for the sake of it. I didn't like it when they did it with Ghostbusters, although I enjoyed that film. Um, I just didn't feel right, it didn't sit right. And also Bill and Ted face the music where they did it there as well, where the daughters are even called Bill and Ted. You know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. It's like James Bond, for example. You could have a female MI6 agent, that's not a problem. He, she could be just as good as James and she could be just as badass as him, if not better. Why not? You know, there's no reason why not. But at the same time, you couldn't have a female James Bond because that's not James Bond. James Bond is a man. All right. So I just want to get that out of the way. You know, I've got nothing against strong female characters, not at all. Some of my favourite characters of all time are female, two of which are Ellen Ripley from the Alien uh, Saga and Sarah Connor from the Terminator series. You can't get two more badass women than that. You know, uh, Harley Quinn is absolutely amazing. She's a fantastic character and she is funny and charming and badass as they come, you know. So, female characters are not a problem for me. Uh, I'm just not a fan of when they gender swap it f just because of, you know, social pressures or social climates or something like that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. The reason I wanted to get that out of the way is because we are talking about the new Masters of the Universe revelation on Netflix which I thought was absolutely brilliant, okay? All these so-called fans, and I, I say that and I, I, um, I respect everybody's right to their own opinion, 100%, um, and it's just that I, I've seen a lot of hate online aimed at this program because it's not about He-Man. Well, I've got a wake-up call for you guys. This is Masters of the Universe Revelation. It's not He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Okay? So, the fact that, here's spoilers ahead. I'm not a big fan of spoilers either, but you know, they, there are going to be some slight spoilers in this uh, review. The fact that He-Man, Adam, is killed in episode one, uh, along with Skeletor, for me, clears the board, okay? It's like, it's like the old tide trope of the hero uh, always goes on a journey and he always finds himself in jeopardy and he's got to fight the bad guy, but he always wins because he's in next week's episode, you know? And while that's pretty good, it's it doesn't imbue any kind of real jeopardy in the story you know you know this guy's gonna survive you know he's gonna um, come out on top what Kevin Smith did with Masters of the Universe Revelation was a breath of fresh air for me anyway they got rid on episode one He-Man and Skeletor gone okay so the rest of the story is about wow anybody can go if those two are gone and those two aren't here, it's a game, it's Game of Thrones all over again. No one is safe. And that, for me, makes it interesting, makes the story interesting. We follow Teela, which is why I said that about the, at the beginning. I love Teela. She's a fantastically strong character. She's really interesting. And the voices, the voice casts um, of this show is just absolutely stellar really truly stellar Sarah Michelle Gellar plays Teela and she is 
brilliant. And, and uh, don't forget, Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn. You know, Teela has to team up with Evil Lynn. It's basically Masters of the Universe, but where the women shine. And I, it works. For me, it absolutely just works. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. It's somewhat predictable in parts. You know, Teela falls out with her father, um, Duncan, and you know, there are some family squabbles there. But honestly, it was inspired to get rid of He-Man and Skeletor. Otherwise, it's just the He-Man and Skeletor show. You know, and let's let's see what the rest of the the uh, inhabitants of Internia are doing. Let's see um, how they live and how they pick up after this great battle. How are they going to rectify it? Because we all want He-Man back. We all want He-Man to save the day. Of course we do. You know, but it's really brilliant and it's really fast paced and it's energetic and it's funny and it's also extremely nostalgic. I absolutely love this uh, show and I can't recommend it enough because it is a, a continuation of the old show. I'm, I was born in the 70s and I, but I'm an 80s kid and for me um, my childhood staples were of course Thundercats, uh, He-Man and Transformers. So you know for me this show was a real nostalgia fest and Orko gets a chance to absolutely shine with the help of Evil Lynn who is voiced by the amazing Lena Headey. You may remember her as Queen Cersei from Game of Thrones. She is just fantastic and when Skeletor really shines is towards the end I, I really do you know I really don't want to spoil it but you know I can't help it. This this is part one, okay? These these first five episodes or so are part one of the uh, season one, and it ends with, of course, they bring back Adam, and of course, He-Man returns to save the day. Of course, he does. This is this is how stories go. But there's a twist at the end, and I, I, I'm not going to give away the twist. But you know what? Finally, they did something for the first time in Masters of the Universe that has never ever been done before. And for me, that was the icing on the cake for this and I cannot wait for part two. So well done to Kevin Smith. He must be one of the biggest nerds on the planet. And by that, I mean that as the biggest compliment from my heart because this guy, Kevin Smith, knows exactly what he's doing. He knows everything. Right, and I take my hat off to him, or I would, but I don't want to, you know. Um, yeah, Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe Revelation on Netflix now. If you've got Netflix, you've got the opportunity to watch it, please watch it. Don't listen to the negative reviews online because all they're moaning about is because it's not got He Man in and it follows Teela. So, what? Get over yourselves. This is brilliant. It's a really refreshing take on the Masters of the Universe and of course He-Man returns at the end anyway. So I cannot wait for part two. Uh, I'm going to score this 9 out of 10 and I'm going to tell you guys watch it. You will not regret it. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw drop us a like and subscribe to see all future content.